Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose in. It's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do is teach you step-by-step step how to set up a phantom wallet. So we're going to be using the desktop version. Um, so we're going to be downloading the Chrome extension and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to set up your wallet, how you can load it up and get going with your Solana. Um, so the Phantom Wallet is very popular. Um, in fact, you can use other assets like um, Ethereum and I believe Bitcoin as well. So we'll dive into that a little bit. So if you get something out of this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, um, ask whatever questions you have. Um, we're always looking to answer those here on the channel. So what we're going to do is we are going to share the screen and we're going to go to phantom.app forward slash download. So it's phantom.app forward slash download. Um, so I already have this on my other um, like Google account, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. So once you go there, again, it's phantom.app forward slash download. So once you're on the main website, you can check it out. And once you do these steps, you can also do it on your cell phone and use the exact same wallet as well. Um, so we're gonna go here to download for Chrome or go to the top right. So again, phantom.app forward slash download. And we are going to hover over what we're using. So if you um, are really into crypto, I recommend to use the Brave browser. It's a great option. Um, you're not really selling your data, um, but I have Google for a lot of things. So we're gonna download the Chrome. So I'm gonna click on Chrome and I'm gonna go here to add to Chrome, okay? So here, add extension. So for those of you that are using a, you know, like a different web browser, go ahead and use that. So basically you're gonna add a little logo to the top, right? So what you're gonna need here um, is a pen and paper. So we're going to be creating a new wallet. So we've got a book. So I recommend you always have a book um, somewhere where you write down your seed phrases for your crypto wallets. So on this, we're going to write, you know, crypto, for example. Um, so basically, you just need a pen and a piece of paper. And you can write down your seed phrase. Do not write this anywhere else. I recommend maybe if you want to write it to metal. I have tons of videos on the channel about this. So in the book, probably towards the back typically, but this is a test wallet, by the way. So when I create this wallet, you are not to use my words, okay? You do not share your words with anyone, all right? So you have two options. What we're gonna do is create a new wallet. So we'll see brand new words. Um, this is a test, so I'm not going to be using this wallet. You get your own words, okay? Or here you can go to, I already have a wallet. And what you would do is you would plug in your words. So this is why you want to write down your seed phrase. It's an encrypted version of your your tokens, right? So this is where your tokens are stored, right? So your words represent, you know, different letters and numbers kind of thing. So um, I forget the exact term for that. I guess it would be, um, you know, letters in numbers. So it would be um, an alphanumeric code. So anyways, that's what you would do. For example, you would decide, I already have a wallet, meaning you have to recover your wallet. That's why you need to do this properly. So we're going to create a new wallet and we're gonna add a password. So if you want, you could even write password for me. I'm just gonna start off by writing phantom wallet. Very simple, right on top, okay? So phantom wallet, perfect. And now we're gonna put in a password. So let me put something in that I would, I would know maybe. Um, so that would be something like this. And right here, that's a medium password. So put in whatever password you want. You probably need letters and numbers. So once you do that, you're going to see this. So secret recovery phrase. So let's zoom in a bit. So these are the words. So if we hover over, we see our words. You want to write these words down. In this case, it will be 12 words, all right? So you're gonna write, for example, one and put walk. And again, I am not using this wallet. Do not use these words. This wallet is going to be a throwaway wallet for everyone. Number two will be vague. 
All right. Number three is going to be drink. Four is wine. Take your time. I'm going to do this a little bit swiftly. Improve. Six will be access. And then I guess I'll split it down the middle. So we'll do seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So seven will be seek. And then eight will be hand. And nine will be reward. 10 will be estate. And then 11 will be bonus. And then sense. All right. So you could write it down just like this. Boom. Okay. So I got my words written down. Take your time because in an event where you have to recover your wallet, this is what you're doing. So your words are held in your wallet and that's what allows you to sign transactions. Okay. So you plug in your words, it's held in the software. Um, it's somewhat secure. Um, this is not the best way we have other alternative methods. So if you want, you could definitely buy a hardware wallet and that would be a cold storage method, meaning your words. So these words are never held online. So we're setting up a hot wallet. So with the hot wallet, you have less security, but it's more convenient and they're free. So this is a free wallet. So here I save my secret recovery phrase, continue. You're all done, so get started, boom. Um, now we're gonna go to wallet. I recommend to pin it. So you're just gonna pin it. Now we just click on the logo. And there we've got a Solana, Ethereum, and Matic wallet. We can begin to manage tokens. Okay, so this we can put away, um, you know, in the keys of the moose, I'm going to put it here. And if somebody want to mess with me, you know, I'm going to act like BitBoy. I'm going to, I'm going to beat you up, right? So congrats, BitBoy, on that karate combat fight. And Crow, Crypto Crow, absolutely crushed it as well. Um, wasn't even a fair fight. So now you can just look at different wallets. So again, we can close, we can manage tokens. Um, I'm going to see what is available. I wonder if you can use Bitcoin or not. No. So that's what you have. So for example, if you go here to account, um, you have your Solana. So if you have, you know, you want to get like a meme token like Bonk, you could do swaps, etc. cetera. Um, so we're going to be doing that in a different video. But basically what you can do is you can very easily use your Phantom and connect it to um, different websites. So I'll give you an example here. I, I'm going to switch my um, account here. So I'm going to go to um, a DEX, which is the Jupe DEX. So this is on my other screen here. And I've already got a wallet connected. So what we can do is we will disconnect this wallet. I already have a different one. So I wasn't going to mess around with what I already had. So if we go to the top right, you can see different Chrome extensions that I have for my own wallets. Um, if we go to Phantom, and I'm gonna put in my password here. So right now I'm using a different wallet, but it's going to be similar. If we go to account one, I've got a little bit here. So I've got $7 worth of Solana. As you can see, I've also got some WUF tokens. So your Solana native assets will show underneath Solana. And same goes with Matic or Ethereum. So what you're gonna do is connect your wallet to a DEX aggregator. And now you can begin to swap assets. So very simple. I'm gonna be doing a separate video for this. I'm gonna show you guys how to swap um, step by step. So now if we go to, for example, Solana, we got five bucks worth. Solana is very cost effective, very cheap. We can now take half of that and swap for bonk. Okay, so we could click swap. And if we go to, not show price, but we go here, we can see um, how the swap is working. So a DEX aggregator is going to aggregate different decentralized exchanges and give you the best price. It will be a different video. So if we go back to our, our other wallet, we have nothing in there. So if you want to load up your wallet, okay, and get started, you could buy some Solana. So click buy, go to, you know, maybe you want to get USDC, get a stable token on Sol, you could do that. So click Solana. And then you would put your amount. I, I think it has to be a, a certain amount. So you would s select like a hundred bucks. Next, 
and then you could buy through Mo, uh, MoonPay or use uh, Coinbase Pay. So very simple. So here you would use a card, bank transfer, follow the steps. Um, I'm just trying not to show any private information for credit cards, obviously. Um, so we have that method. Uh, typically what I do is I use the crypto.com app. I buy crypto through there. And what you could do is you could even pick up some Solana and um, through the crypto.com app, and then you can withdraw and send to this address. So what you would do is you would go to your wallet, your Solana wallet, click on it and go to receive. And you would paste, copy and paste your public address. So you could do that in the form of the QR code and scan it. That just represents these numbers down here. So you can give away your public address. Um, that's that's what it's for. Um, and then that's where, that's how everyone can see, you know, um, how many tokens are out there, kind of where they're located. It's, it's anonymous to a certain extent, right? Um, yeah, so that's how you would load up some Solana, really. Um, also, you have Ethereum here, Matic, but at the end of the day, that's how you would set up your wallet and then connect to different DEXs. So if we go to our other page here, um, over time, you guys can, you know, you know, buy some Solana, get into different assets. I, I, I do have another wallet, my Ledger One. I've got some stupid meme tokens, so ignore that. Um, but here you could also stake it, which is cool. So I've done that. I have a small position. I'm staking like two soul. So just a little bit. <coughs> um, and that's about it really. So that's how you set up the wallet. If you guys are interested, definitely check out the link tree. Um, you can check out the uh, Loose Moose NFTs. This is on Cardano's blockchain. That's what we mostly talk about here on the channel. If you want to pick up a hardware wallet, you can save up to 25% off. I've been loving my Tangem. That's a great everyday. Um, you have the Trezor Model T. Um, that one's really good. So I have that right here. So we got the Trezor Model T. We've got the Tangem. And I also have different types of ledgers. So if you want to know the main differences, go to the channel and watch these videos. So you can type in, um, you know, whatever wallet you want. But I just did a video called my top three crypto hardware wallets. I cannot explain it much better than that. So we also have online courses. Check that out. So if you guys are interested, if you want to learn a new skill, really dive into crypto, you should do that. So with that being said, we are going to be doing another video showing you how to swap soul um, using the DEX aggregator jupe. So we'll see you in the next one.